Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, your first message is don't stop, just keep going. I have a couple things to announce first, a couple things to talk about before we start. If you feel like skipping, go ahead. I will put a timestamp in the comments and in the description box as well. I just want to say thank you to all of you who comment on my videos. I want to say thank you to all of you who support this journey and thank you in general just for being alive. Like, I'm really grateful for you. Seriously, Virgo. I had a chance to read some of my comments after yesterday's reading and I got pretty emotional. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I got pretty emotional because I guess I didn't realize like how much impact that I'm making. I guess I didn't realize how much I'm helping and I was just so in my head lately the past two weeks have i've just been in my head there's been a lot of intrusive thoughts and maybe you guys are dealing with that as well and i mentioned at the end of the last reading that i have been filming content for you guys over the past two weeks and then just deleting it because it doesn't feel good enough and so i guess that's something that i'm working on is feeling good enough and maybe you're working on that too but i want to be honest with you about where that came from it was um maybe like a week or two ago i saw this post for like virgos or something and the reading or the card or the post, I don't really remember, had said something about you have a good thing going, Virgo, don't fuck it up. And I was like, I do have a good thing going. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to screw it up. I don't want to like let anyone down. I don't want to disappoint anyone. I don't want to put out bad content. You know what I'm saying? So I just got like very overwhelmed and very in my head just by that one post. And like, I do have a good thing going and I'm not going to mess it up. One bad reading is not going to like end my career but for some reason in my head it was like if I put out one bad video if I put out one bad reading then like it's all gonna go to shit it's all over for me and I have um a TikTok following as well which is something I want to talk about I started my like social media career with TikTok kind of that's where I like gained a lot of traction and gained a lot of like my audience and I'm very grateful for TikTok but last year TikTok ended up like deleting me it's a whole story we don't have to dive into it but my account got deleted for seven days and i ended up making the another virgo channel because god told me to god was like the virgos need you virgos have a big year coming up we need to read for the virgos forget about tiktok don't worry about tiktok it'll be fine my account ended up getting restored on tiktok and now i have almost three hundred fifty thousand people supporting me on tiktok which is amazing but like that was where I got in my head, where I was like, I do have a good thing going on all of my platforms and I don't want to mess it up. So I just got really in my head and was like, I need to be putting out perfect content. And I know that that's not realistic, but I feel a lot better. And I'm really grateful for those of you who commented yesterday and were like, just put out the content. It still resonates. We're grateful for you. Like that really meant a lot to me. And I got emotional because I didn't realize like how much you guys actually cared, but you guys are empaths too. So I came to the right place, I came to the right people, so I just wanted to let you know that that's what's been going on with me and I'm really grateful for you. I also got us a little surprise, a little present recently. Let me open it for you. I say us, it's for me, but it's for you guys too because I'll be able to use it for my channeling. So I ended up getting this gorgeous black obsidian mirror this little black obsidian here so that I can scry with it. I can read with it. And if you don't know what scrying is, think like um, crystal ball. I wanted to get a crystal ball, but this has been calling to me first. So crystal ball will be like in the future, but think crystal ball. And with a black obsidian mirror like that, you can sit, focus, and let your third eye kind of just like go into a trance and read whatever comes through in the mirror and I've already done some kind of like vision work with it outside of the mirror like my ancestors have like shown me what's going to be happening and what we're going to be talking about and working through and all of those things and how it's going to kind of work but I'm going to be diving into that more for myself and then I will be using it for the readings as well. This is a sign for some of you to get a black obsidian, especially if you've been looking for a crystal recommendation, black obsidian and or amethyst, okay, and smoky quartz and selenite. <laughs> Smoky Quartz, Selenite, Black Obsidian, Amethyst, all really good for you right now if you're looking for a new crystal recommendation or just crystals in general. Um, selenite, Smoky Quartz, Black Obsidian, really good for warding off negative energy and for cleansing your energy, keeping you purified. Selenite's really great for around Mercury retrograde time, and we do have a Mercury retrograde coming up December 28th, so pick up some selenite before then you'll be good to go. You can use it to cleanse your decks. You can use it to cleanse your body if you want. You can take like the little selenite and just kind of like lightly like 
rub it on you not too hard you know because it is a crystal and you will like scratch yourself and cut yourself up but you can use it to like purify doorknobs you can use it to really cleanse and purify anything you know what i'm saying so wanted to talk about that because i did get that and i'm very excited to be diving into the black obsidian mirror and scrying more i do scry with water sometimes which is like I just see things in the water or like the ancestors will show me messages or give me messages from me staring at the water so that's what scrying is if any of you didn't know i wanted to show that off to you now we'll dive into your message for today i woke up with this song called all the way by who is nino and it's not very popular and i don't even know how i found it but it's on one of my spotify playlists from like two or three years ago so it popped back up for me the other day while i was listening to my spotify playlists and I woke up to it this morning. I will try to put it in the community page for you guys. I'll share it if I can find it for you guys so you can listen to it too. But I was just hearing, don't stop, just keep going. Don't stop, just keep going. Oh, 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 oh. There's a lyric that goes, I told myself I'd never give up. I put that on my soul. We're going all the way. I put that on my soul. My voice is not warmed up today. Sorry about that, Virgos. But you get the gist. Don't stop. Just keep going. And then I told myself I'd never give up. I put that on my soul. We're going all the way. And that's true, Virgo. We're going all the way. Nothing can stop us. We are unstoppable. We are untouchable from this moment forward. You hear me? Okay. Don't stop. Just keep going going even if it doesn't make sense even if it feels a little rough even if it's confusing don't stop just keep going okay try to remind that to yourself too don't stop just keep going don't stop just keep going especially if it has to do with like singing or speaking or using your voice for something here because i'm getting that you are the truth you sing the truth you speak the truth you talk the truth you walk the truth period you're no longer just talking the talk. You are walking the walk, baby. Okay? You can talk the talk and walk the walk. A lot of people are out here just talking the talk. It's a lot of loud noises, a lot of mess, a lot of this. But there's no action to back it up. And now you're backing it up, Virgo. Period. Okay? Let's get the angels and ancestors in here and we'll dive into your reading. We're going to use my channel message cards for you just to start. So, what do we have? what is that i'm screaming virgo 733 on the timer so that could be a number for you the seventh your life path could be number seven you could be born the seventh 33 has been showing up for me a lot lately jesus is coming through so you may be very connected to the ascended master of jesus or just to ascended masters in general life path number could be 33 you could be 33 there's a lot of messages coming up here but do you see this it says don't give up that's like crazy i didn't even know that this card was in this channel message deck because i haven't done these used these cards in a while so that's cool Spirit's confirming that they don't want you to give up. Whatever you're pursuing, whatever you're attracting, whatever you're manifesting, don't give up, okay? Yeah, the moon card here. It's all going to be okay, Virgo. The moon to the ace of wands, you're going to get the epiphany, you're going to get that idea, you're going to get the clarity, you're going to get the solution, period. Things are coming back into balance. That was the last reading, right? Things are coming back to balance. Things are coming back to center, right? You're going to get your confidence back. You're going to get your strength back. You're resilient, Virgo. You always bounce back. And you always bounce back better. I know you know that, but I'm like, yeah, the Ten of Swords. But there's been a lot of like pain and agony and suffering and sadness and confusion. You've been through the dark night of the soul, probably more than one. Okay, let's try to clear up any anxiety or any fears that you're having around this time, please. I want to let you know that this deck, I'm missing the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So those two cards will not come out of this deck, but it'll be okay. We can still read with 76 cards or something like that. What has Virgo been worried about? What's going on with Virgo? Tell me. Don't stop, Virgo. Just keep going. The writing, the reading, the tarot, the singing, whatever it might be. Don't stop. Just keep going. The hanged man in the reverse is always like the green light. I think we pulled this in one of your readings recently, too. In the same exact situation, the hanged man in the reverse. I'm hearing you're getting closer. One step. Each and every day just take one step towards that goal, right? Six of Pentacles, because everything that you put into the universe is coming back to you. We talked about this yesterday as well. The universe is mirroring you right now, Virgo. So if you don't give up, they won't give up. 
the people around you, the universe, whatever you're manifesting, it's not going to give up on you. It's already manifesting for you into the 3D. I'm seeing the tree of Kabbalah and I'm seeing like it coming into the 3D. Something you've been manifesting has been in the 5D, if that makes sense, if you know what I'm talking about, if you don't let it go. But the hanged man in the reverse here, it's like coming out of the 5D and now manifesting into the 3D. So don't give up because it's right here. It's right here, Virgo. The epiphany, the enlightenment, the manifestation, the reciprocation, the energy that you've been looking for. It's right here. Don't give up. Okay. What else, please, for Virgo? Yeah, here's the Nine of Swords. So we are going to try to clear up this anxiety, this sleepless energy, this worry, this frightening energy. I'm seeing the number 99 now. This is the Nine of Wands with the Nine of Swords. 999 has been showing up for me a lot lately, which means you're right there. I'm hearing you're on the precipice of overcoming this. You're on the precipice of overcoming these fears, these nightmares, this anxiety, and you're moving into something more successful. I'm hearing it's always darkest before the dawn. You're about to break through. Or you already are breaking through. I'm hearing that song from High School Musical. We're breaking free, soaring, flying, to get to that place to be all that we can be. If we're trying, yeah, we're breaking free. As long as you're trying, you're breaking free. I was getting like something about you don't have to try so hard, it's going to come to you naturally. I'm hearing that from Selena Gomez. It comes naturally, it comes naturally. So your skills, your gifts, your talents, they come to you naturally and nobody can take that away from you. You are unstoppable. Seven of Swords in the reverse. It doesn't matter what they project onto you. It doesn't matter what they've taken from you in the past. It doesn't matter whether they try to impersonate you, copy you, steal from you, whatever, because you're the innovator. You're the creator. You're the magician. You're the original. They can never be you. They can never take this away from you. What's meant for you will never miss you, Virgo, 100%. Let's talk some more. We're seeing the fool. I love it because you're literally rapidly growing. You're rapidly changing. And I think that that could be what's so like scary and intense about this because it's like, it feels like for some of you, something has been like ripped out from underneath of you or things have like crumbled or it's just like been one thing right after the next here. But that's a good thing because you're getting it all out. You're not leaving room for it to creep back up in the future. You're letting it all go so that you can be free, so that you can start this new journey, so that you can have happiness, love, romance, success, abundance, period. Everything that you've been manifesting is coming into fruition, so don't give up. You're moving from the 999 energy to the 000 energy. We're like skipping the tens, which is so good because you don't even need to like clear things up. You don't need to give closure to anybody. You don't need to give closure to yourself. You just already are in this phase of like wrapping things up and then we're on to the next thing. Because I feel like you're so smart and mature now where it's like, okay, I get it. Something has ended. Something is done. Something is no longer affecting me anymore. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm going to keep pursuing what I want to pursue. I'm not going to give up on myself and on my dreams. I'm putting that on my soul and my soul wants me to keep moving forward. Your soul wants you to keep moving forward, Virgo, and embrace these new beginnings, embrace these new changes here. I'm hearing it's happening for you, not to you. There's a deck I have called um, the Lightworker Oracle, so you may resonate with being a Lightworker or Empath, but in that deck there's a card called the Ever Unfolding Rose. Someone's name could be Rose, or roses could be significant for some reason. Rose scent, okay? Um, but this card says that it's happening for you, not to you. Wow, there's a lot to celebrate. <laughs> There's a lot to celebrate if you don't give up. The Four of Wands. This is all about celebration, union, alignment. I feel like some of you feel like you're out of alignment. You feel like... Oh, okay. Let me try to clarify that for you. Because it feels like some of you think that you're out of alignment, but you're not. As long as you keep going, as long as you take one step each and every day, as long as you put in effort, you're on the right path. You're aligned. This new journey is opening up for you. It's happening naturally too, remember? It comes naturally, right? I don't know what this is, but something is coming to you naturally. Some kind of gift, some kind of reward, some kind of compensation here. All right, you are in alignment. Tell me about the Nine of Swords here. Why does Virgo feel like they're not in alignment? Okay, the Ten of Swords. This card says everything is fine and you're like, everything is not fine. <laughs> everything is not fine. I'm hearing some of your subconscious, some of you, you're just like, everything is not fine. 
But I'm going to tell you that for some of you, everything is not fine because you're sitting in the dark. You're staying in the dark. You're facilitating the darkness here. And there's a need for us to go into the darkness, but we don't have to stay there. You're allowed to be happy. You're allowed to be loved. You're allowed to have the things that you want. You're allowed to be wealthy. Give yourself permission, and I promise you this Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords energy will vanish. Some of you also may need to spend less time on social media or less time on your phone here because this character is like in the dark, laying down with all these swords in them with their phone. Do you see that? So Spirit's saying maybe you need to get off the phone. Maybe you need to put the phone down, put social media down, um, remove some people from your life, remove some situations from your life. Be careful, be mindful of the content that you're consuming, be mindful of the music that you're consuming because everything carries a frequency and everything carries a vibe, right? So, can I get some advice here for Virgo? The Knight of Cups. See, we didn't even need the Knight of Cups in the other deck because the Knight of Cups is in this one. I'm using the Modern Witch for this one as well. So, some of you may feel like you're not in alignment to love or to your passions or to your heart here, but I'm hearing listen to your heart. Let the thoughts pass you by. I like to think of like negative thoughts and thoughts in general as clouds. They're all important and we have to think, you know, but you don't have to harp on the thoughts because it's air energy. And what does air do? It flows, goes with the wind. The wind is constantly changing. Sometimes you have a still day. Sometimes you have a hundred mile winds. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a spectrum here. So spirit is saying to let the thoughts pass you by. I'm also seeing something about using water to help you heal or to help you get into alignment. So make sure you're staying very hydrated. Um, you can use water to help you get into alignment with like showers, baths, spiritual baths if you feel called to that, um, moon water if you want to. It just rained here. It's kind of raining here, which is weird for California. I live in Los Angeles, if any of you don't know. Not like in the heart of LA. I live in like outskirts of Los Angeles, but I'm still in the Los Angeles County. And it rained last night and it's still kind of like dribbling today. So it could be raining for you as well. And I'm hearing when it rains, it pours in a good way. Rain is very purifying. Rain and water is very cleansing. So if it's raining around you or if it rains around you very soon, put a bowl of pull, put a bowl outside, put a cup outside, collect it, collect the rainwater, and then you can use it for whatever you want. You can like dab some on your third eye. You can use it for cooking. Okay, whatever you want to do with it, it's up to you though. But I am seeing that you are in alignment to your manifestations. Don't worry. Don't give up. Keep pursuing your goals. Keep pursuing your dreams. Ten of Cups. I'm hearing it's all going to be okay, Virgo. You are unstoppable. You're going to have the family. You're going to have the kids. You're going to have the husband, the wife, the house, the career. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. And the community. Some of you are building a community and your community really loves and supports you here. They're very happy. We're very happy with you. They're very happy with what you're giving them. They're very happy with you in general. And they want to protect you. They want to help you in any way possible. I learned that for myself, that my community is always there for me. If I need to open up and express myself and talk about my emotions and talk about my thoughts and what's going on with me, there's someone there who's willing to listen. And I think that's a message for you too, Virgo. There is always someone who is willing to listen. It may not be the people who are directly around you. And you'll find that out by trying to open up to them and then they start talking about themselves or they ignore you or they don't give you any answers or talk about what you're talking about, they just make it about themselves or they change the subject here, then you'll know that those people aren't the right people for you to be opening up to. But I promise you that if you speak, someone will listen. I'm also hearing if you build, they will follow or something like that. And I'm hearing when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. You've been looking for answers. The answers are here. Hopefully this reading gave you some answers, but also like your spirit team is more than happy to come through and give you answers. So I'm getting like after this reading, it's going to open up some kind of like portal or some kind of space for your spirit team to come through and start giving you these answers. Okay. Let's get one final card to wrap this up for you. Overall, don't stop. Just keep going. One little step is better than no steps at all. Do what you can for yourself. Give yourself time and space, right? And also, like, preserve your energy. At this point, Virgo, I feel like you have a good understanding of, like, where you can give your energy, what it feels like if you overgive, what it feels like if you're not receiving anything back. You know what I'm saying? So preserve your energy, okay? Your energy is sacred. Let's get one last card for my Virgos to wrap this up. That one. Expect powerful change. We have a full moon coming up on December 7th as well. 
uh, Full Moon in Gemini, which is all about the third house, which is all about communication, the throat chakra here. So expect powerful change when it comes to communication. Expect powerful change when it comes to the way that you communicate to yourself, the way that you communicate to others, and the way that others communicate to you. I'm also seeing that this is opening up like a new timeline or opening up a new portal, like I said here. So there's going to be like direct access to your spirit team or direct access to God, to source, to your creator, whatever you believe in here. Some of you may have been feeling like you were losing your gifts or losing your ability to connect to source or something like that, but that's a part of the process. It happens. It happens for me all the time. There will be times where I literally look at the cards and I'm like, what the heck are they trying to tell me? Because I don't know. But today's reading was so clear and so effortless. So I see that happening for you as well. If you've been experiencing some kind of like self-doubt or um, confusion when it comes to your abilities, to your gifts, to your reading, apply it to your situation, how it fits here. I see that that will be changing and you'll be coming, you'll be becoming even more powerful. This card says expect powerful change. And that loud noise going by was confirmation. You are powerful. And you're making a lot of powerful changes internally, which are then going to be reflected externally. So don't give up. Just keep going. Okay? Expect powerful change. And then I was going to talk about communication. The last card says adjustments are required. So whatever that means to you, Spirit is saying adjustments are required. And I feel like the adjustments are to just not give up on yourself. To just keep going. You may want to re-listen to this reading. Okay? Because I'm getting that... You may need to listen to this reading more than once to like get everything that we talked about. But I want to end by talking about this expect powerful change when it comes to communication. I'm getting that some of you are going to be like communicating more powerfully, more effortlessly, with more authority. Your voice carries power, okay? Your truth carries power. So expect powerful change when it comes to the way that you speak. I feel like you're going to start feeling more confident in your voice, start feeling more confident in the words that you're speaking. You're going to be opening up to people more. People are going to be opening up to you more. I'm just hearing like you carry authority in your voice and that makes people listen to you because you seem to know what you're talking about. And I feel like you do know what you're talking about because it's your truth. It's authentic to you. So you do know what you're talking about. But you can expect powerful change when it comes to your communication and to your throat chakra. Okay? That is what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope that this message helped you. I'm sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated. And I will see you next time.